show you how to create a blog using software. Let's take a quick look at the example on the software website. This is our blog. We're going to recreate this today. So we jump across into the studio. The first thing to do is create a new page. We're going to add this new page and we're going to call it the title of our blog. But it's important to remember to structure this correctly. So what we'd usually advise is using forward slash blog, then forward slash the name of your blog. So in my case, it is title of our blog. Now we've got the page ready. We want to jump across and start adding our first block. Scroll down to other, and we're going to add the simple text block. The next block we want to add is an image. So we'll go down to other again, and we want to add a simple image block. These are the two core blocks that we're going to be using to build our blog. When we select the text block, we have a nice rich text editor, which allows us to make a number of different changes to the text within the field. We're going to add a new title. And then we're going to add the body of the text. Again, I can make a number of edits to this. I can change, obviously, the size. I could change the weight of the text, make a bold, italic, underline with a strike through it. I could add hyperlinks as well. I could change the justification, add bullet points. The list goes on. But for now, we're just going to add a title and a body text. Next thing we want to do is replace the image. Simply click on the image to replace it. Select your image. Now from here, we want to do some quick formatting. So first of all, we we'll probably want to reduce the padding and around the image itself. So we've got to the style settings. I'm just going to remove the padding entirely from the top and the bottom. And then we'll jump across to the text block and we're going to do the same there and we're going to remove the bottom padding just to bring the image a little bit closer to the text. Now, a great tip to know is we don't want to have to create that every single time. So we don't have to have new blocks uh, each time we want to add a new section. So all we want to do is duplicate. So we simply click the duplicate button on the block and then we want to reorder it. And again, the same for the image itself. We can duplicate that and then we can also reorder it to save us lots of time. So I can go and then change the title again. And then we can change the body text. And then also we can replace the image. And by replacing the image, the great thing is we get to keep all the styling options that we've already applied, so we don't have to reapply them each time. And there we go. That's creating a simple blog using software.